Forget it. It's too risky. I'm through doing that shit. You always say that, the same thing every time. I'm through, never again, too dangerous. I know, that's what I always say. I'm always right, too. But you forget about it in a day or two? Yeah, well, the days of me forgetting are over. The days of me remembering have just begun. You know when you go on like this what you sound like? You sound like a sensible fucking man. That's you what sound I sound like. like. A duck. <laughs> you know, take that because you're never going to have to hear it again. Cause it, since I'm never going to do it again, you're never going to have to hear me quack about I'm never going to do it again. After tonight? Correct. I got all tonight to quack. Can I get anyone more coffee? Oh, yes. Thank you. Come. I mean, the way it is now, taking the same risk as when you rob a bank. Taking more of a risk. Banks are easier. Federal banks ain't supposed to stop you in any way during a robbery. You're insured. Why should they give a fuck? Don't even need a gun in a federal bank. What about this one bloke who walks into a bank with a portable phone? He gives the phone to the teller. The bloke on the other end of the phone says, we got this guy's little girl. If you don't give him all your money, we're gonna kill her. Did it work? Fucking right, it works. That's what I'm talking about. Knucklehead walks into a bank with a telephone. Not a pistol, not a shotgun, but a fucking phone. Cleans the place out, they don't even lift a fucking finger. Did they hurt the little girl? I don't know, there probably never was a little girl in the first place. But the point of the story isn't a little girl, the point of the story is they robbed a bank with a telephone. Hmm. You want to rob banks? I'm not saying I want to rob banks, I'm just illustrating that if we did, it'd be easier than what we've been doing. And no more liquor stores? What have we been talking about? Yeah, no more liquor stores. <sighs> Besides, it ain't the giggle it used to be. It's too many foreigners own liquor stores. Vietnamese, Koreans, they don't even speak fucking English. You tell them, empty out the register. They don't know what the fuck you're talking about. They make it too personal. We keep on, one of these good fuckers is gonna make us kill him. I'm not gonna kill anybody. I don't wanna kill anybody either. But it probably put us in a situation where it's us or them. And if it's not the gooks, it's these old fucking Jews who've owned the store for 15 fucking generations. You've got Grandpa Irving sitting by the, behind the counter with a fucking magnum in his hand. Try walking in one of those places with nothing but a phone. See how far that gets? You know, fuck it, forget it. We're out of it. Yeah, well, what then? Day jobs? Not in this life. What then? Garçon, coffee! This place. Garçon means boy. This place? A coffee shop. What's wrong with that? Nobody ever robs restaurants. Why not? Bars, liquor stores, gas stations. You get your head blown off sticking on one of them. Restaurants, on the other hand, you catch with their pants down. They're not expecting to get robbed. Not as expecting anyway. I bet you could cut down on the hero factor in a place like this. Correct. Same as banks, these places are insured. Manager, <laughs> you don't give a fuck. He's just trying to get you out the door before you start plugging the diners. Waitress is fucking forget it. No way they're taking a bullet for the register. Busboy, some wet back, getting paid dollar fifty an hour. Really give a fuck? You're stealing from the owner. Customers sitting there with food in their mouths. They don't know what's going on. One minute they're having a Denver omelet. Next minute someone's sticking a gun in their face. See, I got the idea. The last liquor store we stuck up, remember? All the customers kept coming in. Yeah. You got the idea, taking their wallets. Mm -hmm. Now, that was a good idea. Thank you. Made more from the wallets than we did from the register. Yes, we did. A lot of people come to restaurants. A lot of wallets. Pretty smart, huh? Pretty smart. I'm ready. Let's do it right now, right here. Come on. All right. Same as last time, remember? <coughs> Your crowd control. I handle employees. Mm -hmm. mm. I love you, pumpkin. I love you, honey bunny. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! Any of you fucking 